Hey, Jan Virgo, I've got your daily read for you. I hope you're happy and healthy. I'm just gonna shuffle these cards up and then we're gonna go straight into it. What I'm gonna to do is um, we're gonna use uh, three different decks to put on the uh, spiritual message and we're only gonna pull seven cards out of each deck and then that way um, there's 234 cards, 21 cards come out of it and that's it. It also gives us a spirit a chance to put, um, the, the victory card just nearly came out of the card deck just then, uh, gives us a chance to put um, triple, let alone double emphasis on the things that spirit would like you to know. All right, let's get started. Oh, that's enthusiasm. Somebody's enthusiastic. Somebody's very enthusiastic. It's infectious enthusiasm, that's right. So I'm just trying to pull you towards um, like being enthusiastic about something, okay? It's like your, your enthusiasm will inspire others, okay? What do we got under the deck? Yeah, it's some sort of seeds of bundle, abundance, like, like um, divine gifts uh, and the aces are um, divine gifts, yeah. They're gifts of um, the divine. Uh, they're also baby steps, but th with that divine, with that divine pentacle there, that's like um, baby steps. It's like the seeds of growth in something. Something just came out. Then something in the background. Okay, the Pisces energy just came out there with the King of Cups, and in the King of Cups, it shows there's something in the background coming in, but we can't see it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Spirit's trying to pull you towards your spiritual connection. You've worked very, very hard across your life, yeah. Spirit wants you to know that you have worked very, very hard and you should be enthusiastic about your journeys in life and creating the seeds of potential. Yeah, you're on the stepping towards the right direction, okay? That's the three of three of ones, okay? You're doing it with ferocious tenacity, yeah? Very strong, okay? You've been left out in the cold, you've been ostracized, you've been teased, it was faded, okay, in some sort of direction so you could learn and have your level up into being unapologetically yourself. Now, in that... Um, Nine of Pentacles energy. She is in a milestones met, and you know she is uh, quiet. She's like quiet grace, I suppose, but she's she's content with herself. She's personal achievement. I'm talking to somebody who is very personally achieved in life. I'm somebody who's in a pieces there, and somebody who has the success and uh, and energy of that celebration because you're totally worthy of it, and you're totally worthy worthy of any abundance that comes into your life, and that that's fair, you know, because especially leading into that Ten of Cups, you know, that shows. That you deserve it, okay? Like, if if you're not in in a, if you're in a relationship, okay, then that's like coming into uh, like grace in your relationship. If you already have grace in your relationship, that's just you and your mindset. My readings are more around your mindset, yeah. I'm trying to help souls get, get onto their path, their spiritual journeys, and, and know what spirit wants you to know, so you can, because like when you get on your path and you're divinely led and you start to follow, the whole world just opens up, okay, and so that would be the masculine to feminine mindset of your brain, so you're able to um, be stronger and be more confident in life and, and know your worth, know your value, put your boundaries in place, you know, be, be the bliss and abundance that you need in your life to enjoy, uh, it would be perfectly in that card that I just said there before, which, which was the Nine of Pentacles, yeah? And as you can see in this card, right, she's a, she's emotionally, intuitively intelligent. That's what this card is, right, to me. This is not a queen, nor is it a king. It can be that way if I set the cards out that way, okay? It can be that way. But in a collective's read, she's energy. So what I'm dealing with, is I'm speaking to an emotionally intelligent person, okay? And with the pentacle in the background there, it shows, even though they're cups, it shows that your abundance is in your love and your intuition. And she's a beautiful queen. Okay, but it doesn't have to be male or female. It's just somebody who is embracing uh, who they are as a human being. So, and that's the best way to put it. Because how would anybody do any collectives read for like something like that? Like I can do them like that, but I'd have to result to this deck, okay, and then take all the um, the the reversals and all the different things and put them all. And then we're talking hours and hours and hours. And nobody nobody wants to sit down and watch that. I, I'm pretty sure I'm barely struggling for 20 minutes. Um, yeah, and so she's like emotionally into it. She's highly attuned. I'm talking to a highly attuned person. Male or female is irrelevant. Somebody very strong. Somebody who's leading with your heart and healing. And you can see that's double emphasis on that spiritual connection there of, of between you and God and the divine and your angels and ancestors, you and your new partner coming in, you and your partner that you have now, or just you, because not everybody wants love. Some people just want to be content with them themselves and be happy. Yeah, that's growth. And that would be growth. However... Once you, um, spirit, so like the uh, energy that you're in right now, right? You've come from something, okay? You've grown from love. That's the best way to say it. You've grown from broken hearts. You've grown from your dark night of the soul. You've grown from them pulling all those strings in all different directions and tearing your heart open at times in your life where you fell and you grew from it. That's life. That's beautiful. That's, that's freaking excellent. That's sexy even, you know, because that shows how, how good you are as a human being. 
Two cards just flicked out. I haven't looked at them yet. That's clarity. That's clarity of unconditional love. Okay, she's um. This is clarity. This is truth. This is victory. This is the growth. Spirits like just flicked them out and they just landed on the table. That's what that is. Spirits saying that's clarity. That's truth. That's victory. And what I'm saying, you've grown so well. It's not funny. You've come into this energy that embraces exactly what the planet needs. Like in infectious enthusiasm so people can see it so and and beautiful positive love of joyful hearts and and being able to prove and show to people that you can grow regardless of what situation where you come from in life or who you are there we go that's a beautiful energy now i'm going to chuck them back in the deck not that we don't take those messages i'm only taking seven cards if i take them all i'll be through the reading in one minute and then we'll have to grab the reversal deck and then we'll be here for hours so it's like one way or the other yeah, so you're growing in your mindset, you're growing in, in creating memories, you're growing in your inner child, you're growing in your future self. You're growing so much it's not funny because this is where, where we were as children or when we were younger in our mindset, if that makes sense, be like you went in your 20s and you didn't realize what your 40s were going to be like or your 30s, however old you are, it's irrelevant. It's just more like the person growing old to be wise and, and they're you know, in themselves. That also can be somebody from the past coming back or they could be collaborating or thinking about you right now, yeah? And they're thinking about the growth that you've gone through in your life and how 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 beautiful you are, okay? Because this is the center of that whole top. I only take seven cards, so we've already taken three cards. The Page of Pentacles, the Enthusiastic Energy, the Six of Swords Spirit pulling you in that direction for rites of passage, then the Ten of Cups of that joyful and soulful connection within who you are, yeah? And now we leads us to the growth here, which then leads us to that. So I've only got two more cards to go before I flick the decks. But underneath that mat, that energy there is love. Literally love. Look at all the cups. Some, I'm to whoever I'm talking to. You are beautiful. Yeah, look at all the colors. Look at all the different colors that build up the um, chakras and, and clearing those energies and being an enthusiasm in places in the world for people to look. Because where you've come from, it wasn't a good time. You know, you've learned from the hard way of life. Because look behind her. Spirit's pulling you out of that and pulling towards the, the beach so you can celebrate who you are. And that is beautiful. Ah, see, these loves that we go through in those situations where they pull us through, okay, they build us to be strong. They show us our resilience. They, she's got nine ones to work with. She built a boundary. You know, and that's what that card means, is boundaries, healthy boundaries in life because of being stabbed in the completely in the back of painful crises and... You know, the best part about this card is it, the normal Rider weight deck has t a person with 10 stab wounds in their back. But in this one, she's healed. She's got scars, which show personality and character, where you've been and how far you've grown in life. That's beautiful. You're a beautiful person. I'm going to um, yeah. I'm going to go on to the next card now. We'll keep going. Yeah, you've grown so much in life. People, people from the past are probably noticing. They, they broke your heart. They put you down. They let you, they left you out in the cold. They hurt you. That's what they did. They hurt you. They left you like that, expecting you to fall all the way down. But what you did is you grew. You grew so much. You grew into the abundance. That's not a, that's not an ace. That's not a ten. That's not the trolls and tribulations through life. That's not childish energy. That's not teenager energy. That's not a queen energy. That's a king. It doesn't matter, male or female. It's somebody who's come from the Alpha to the Omega to learn the lessons of life and level up. And that's what that is to me. And that's what they are in my readings. That's what they expected for you. And Spirit said, no, I'm going to give them good news. And I'm going to, I'm going to give them a victory like you've never seen before in my entire life. Yeah, because you're a beautiful soul. These things go you through the, take you through the dark night of the soul. That's what that card means. So you can level up and be the unapologetic version of who you are. And... It, you know, that's what unconditional love is. It's going through those hard times and still putting the best foot forward, still trying to work on yourself, still trying to put great things out into the universe, even though the universe is crapping on you. And that's what it says in the Bible. Be of God, be of the divine source, not, not of the, the world. Because in the world, you've got greed. You've got people who are wanting to hurt you and do all these things that are just not, that they're worldly. Yeah, that's why everybody's turning towards the spiritual nature of quantum and, and that beautiful a possibility of anything's, anything's possible within a miracle world. Yeah, You've shown courageous strength at times in your life where you've been hurt. And you've shown positivity at times where just people have hurt you and ripped your heart all, all different directions. He's fearless. He's an entrepreneurial spirit. So it shows you can give him a million dollars, he'll turn it into anything. Mil million dollars money uh, position is in life, it doesn't matter. It just shows that you're able to manifest anything in your life due to your ferocious skills of never giving up. That's the best way to say it. Yeah, they can juggle you. They can make the baggage come onto your life, but you'll figure out a way. 
the light will lift you up every single time. And it doesn't even matter because at the end of the day, you will grow. You will grow more and more. The whole thing is centered around the growth. And look at her growing from her mind. If I can get it to focus. Focus. Wait, wait, wait. Are these cameras only new? I don't even know if it's focused. I don't even know. I can't even see the screen very well. However, either way, they can juggle you as much as you want, but you're going to grow in your mind. Okay, that's the underlining energies of the top top row. But yeah, that's what they expected for you. They want they expect you to go round and round in your mind, in your mind, and just sit there and play and play and play and play and play until you couldn't. Yeah, that's what they expected for you. Sadness, horror, victory, it's like horrible, horrible things. They expected for you to be out in the cold. They expect you to watch them glow while you fell. And spirit says no, it's not going to happen. We're going under the Page of Pentacles now to have a look at that, but we also continue on from the Ace of Wands. Okay, so we can have a look. Oh, something just flicked out. Dum -dum. Yeah, protect your energy, man. When you're in the enthusiastic energy, we've got more Wands. It shows inspiration, yeah? It, it shows how inspiring you are, okay? Now, it looks like somebody's fighting in this deck, okay? And that's what you should be doing. You're, you're defending yourself, if that makes sense. You're defending your energy. You're defending your light. You're defending the things that build you up to be the beautiful person you are. And you're being... A, you, this also can be a few steps ahead of the others. That's what that card can be. It can be... Um, creative innovations and growth, literally, creative innovations and growth. It can be reaching a goal, being asked to stand up for yourself, defending your ideas or your position, aligning your actions with integrity, trusting in your spiritual truth. And that spiritual truth is enthusiasm. You are beautiful. You're enthusiastic about your life and it shows. You're enthusiastic about your spirituality and it shows. You, there's your inspiration. I've got more inspiration. You're an inspirational soul and that's beautiful. We're going to go now under the six of wands because I want to know a little bit more about this. Bum, bum. More wands, man. Look, it's literally the card before it. So it's putting an emphasis on how fearless you are and how strong you are and how beautiful you are as a soul and how you, you just deserve it. You deserve to be picked up and carried down the street and shown how lovely you are as a visionary. Yeah? As courageous strength. As incredible confidence. As, as, as genius and passion as they always intersect into one intertwine yeah that's what they want for you they want to reject you they want to put you down they want to they miss the blessing which is you but unfortunately you're assertive you're an excellent leader you believe in yourself so it doesn't matter if they believe in you because you believe in yourself you're a mastery you're a visionary you're a incredible incredibly confident person and you're fearless in your actions that's why spirit turns up Okay, because because you've learned the lessons, you've learned enough lessons to be able to spirit to say, okay, that's fair enough. Let's lead them towards they need to because of their pure heart. Yeah, you weren't sitting around waiting for people to go, uh, oh, well, you know what, they stuffed me around, so you know what, I hope they get the worst in the world. That's bad karma. No, you put good things out because that's the king energy. Yeah, another king. I've got three kings in a row here. I've got somebody who's got morals and integrity. I've got somebody who is truth in themselves, a very, very good communicator. I've got somebody who's not only fearless, I've got somebody who is an extremely good communicative person. I've got somebody who is, is, is strong, and those swords show logic. Those swords, show, swords, swords, those swords, those swords, those swords show logic, you know? Shows morals. Shows being calm and cool and collected. And expert status. Both of these together show confidence of fearless. Like, look how fearless he is. Yeah, he'll cut you with that truth, but he'll cut you with his logic. He'll cut you with his fighting. He'll cut you with his ability. He'll cut you with his, with his, with his beautiful mindset. And he'll cut you on just on the fact that he co-creates with the divine. He's not manipulative. He's, he's cold and he's beautiful and he's, he's not arrogant and he's, he's direct in his words, but he does it in an intellectual way. That's the type of person I'm talking to right now. There, finally, she's come out again. You're kidding me. That was the underlining energy. So yeah, it sits like that in front of me. That's how it would sit, right, in front of me. Yeah, when I put it down, that's how it sits, right? But it shows that your growth shows the inner milestones met. Remember, it came out the same time as this card. It's like spirits putting emphasis at the same card. Your growth in life is beautiful. Your inner milestones are there. You have leveled up in a way that you could never possibly imagine. Look how beautiful she is in that card. She's holding... If it focus. Focus. I can't even tell if it's focus. I don't even know. Anyway, she's got the falcon in her hand, which shows how proud you should be of how far you come. 
all the all the things in that have come fruition if that makes sense so it shows you've come through the seven of pentacles with that growth and that stability the eight the, the eight of pentacles are putting in that mastery to skill up and be the best version of yourself and then nine it's time to celebrate your, how beautiful you are i think somebody's thinking about that because it's leading into that they're thinking about the joy that you are i've just got two nines by the way two nines in a way which means you only got one more to get uh, to the perfect and which is the holy grail and that holy seed of abundance that holy seed of abundance already came out justice there's another sword it's funny look clear truth clarity they look the same don't they the sword of truth the sword and the justice they look exactly the only difference is one's got a balance in his hand and a red jacket as opposed to blue but it shows like your your natural karma you are the balance in the world that's needed okay because of your logic your truth your fairness and, and it doesn't mean that you'll have to be the the most it doesn't mean you have to be an arsehole but what it does mean is that when it comes around okay that justice comes around it shows that you are natural law that you are wisdom and you are wise and you are fair you are the cause and effect of integrity and that objectivity shows your perspective to be the accountable thing that spirit oh wow it looks like that one too spirit wants you to know that they can break your heart as much as they want but spirit's going to come around to cut you then down with your logic because you are a beautiful person all right, we all got to keep going. I got to keep going. All right, yeah. So spirits there. He put an ending to something. Your faith is beautiful. Okay, so just trust in the divine um, to bring anybody that's hurt you with that three of cups around uh, the three of swords here, where you're screaming in pain. Okay, you scream. You know what she's saying there? Lord, help me. Right? Look what's just popped out. The Lord. It shows that justice is going to come around. And justice may be in your glow up. The justice may be in your growth in life, okay? Because that's where they're obviously regretting, okay? They're obviously thinking back with the six of cup above it. And they're thinking about how they hurt you. They're thinking about the ending. And that's also transformation. So they're thinking about the transformation, okay? That's the card we started with is how enthusiastic you are at the present moment and how much you deserve to be exactly what it is. It's, they're juggling their thoughts. The baggage is weighing them down while the light is lifting you up. And that's, what, that's what's playing on their mind. Just that energy alone is disgusting. They literally, they, that, nothing. This, nothing for this one. Nothing in any way. This is an energy, and that's all that is. That is a devilish energy that made them hurt you in the first place. And that's what they still stuck with. So you know what? When I see that, sucked in. That's all I've got to say. Sucked in when this one comes around. This energy here, because sucked in. You should have released that shit a long time ago, but you still want to play them games. Do you know what this is? This is manipulation. It's tactics of the devil. He comes with promises of everything you want, sex, drugs, rock and roll, manipulation, the best money you could ever possibly imagine, but it comes at a price. Whereas this one, he'll give it to you based on your faith alone. you got a new journey coming along. you got a new journey coming along and do not allow your mindset to manipulate you out of it and don't let anybody come along either. You need to tell yourself how beautiful you are eh? because it's going to be a victory there for you. That's what that card is, is movement. It's victory. It's triumphant victory. It's the chariot, the movement. So protect your energy because, yeah, we've got, we've got you protecting your, your intuition at the present moment, especially around that six to ones. We have the people that stabbed you in the back. So that's why you're protecting your energy. All I did was split the deck and it comes straight up with protect your energy of seven of wands. Okay, because what's above the, the chariot is protect your energy too. See, same card, seven of wands. Oop, this one. Okay, but they hurt you. They broke you. The painful crisis is the endings. There's probably teams of people working against you. Look, teams of them all collaborating against you. All collaborating against you. And that is clarity. That is the sword of truth, which is clarity. That is victory. You get the victory because above that, we just went from the alpha to the omega, which would have been above it, of the king of swords. Ah, next card, please. Trust your intuition at the present moment. Trust your intuition. Yours. That's your card. Trust your intuition at the present moment because you're a beautiful person. At the times where it got tough, you went within and, and found thyself. And that's beautiful. And your ability to pass on those draw, draw and past experiences gave you the toolkit of knowledge to be calm and collected in a time of harvest needed to plant the seeds of joy in order to come to fruition of yourself, okay? And that's the quickened journey of the intentional weaving of the web of your life. And you can see it there in the options that are coming in as she's pondering in thought. Look, they're pondering in thought over your growth. They're literally, because above that is growth. They can't handle it. They won't be able to handle it because before it's your card. They can't handle that you co-create with the divine. They can't handle that you give good karma out to the world. So good karma, good, that's what that is. Give and receiving. Good karma goes out to the world. So good karma comes back. They can't handle it. 
because I do have the higher fight next to it. They can't handle it. Just for, they can't handle it. Look, they can't handle that. You get trapped in your mind while they get where you get. They get trapped in their mind. It's back for. <laughs> Sorry, I'm only new to this, right? They get trapped in their mind while you get the joy. Look, Ooh. that's a genie. If it would focus, focus. Yeah, I think it's focused. Yeah, but it shows that you get the joy, yeah. And you, when we when we were above the card that's above it, joy did come out at the same time we were playing it. So the spirit's putting emphasis here in the um, in who it is, and that somebody's learning at the present moment. You're learning about your spirituality. You're learning about your faith. You're taking the times, okay. But that's also a card to um, pay attention to your intellect, okay, and pay attention to the things that you do. You do good things out to the universe, so don't tell yourself bad things, especially because karma comes around in divine timing. Whenever divine says to do it, because we do have the devil there, and we don't want. And like I said, there you have a new journey coming, so you don't want to be manipulated out of it yeah because it's going to be beautiful that is radiant beautiful that is this is a card of yes if you just ask yourself a question that answer is yes for the sun but it's radiant beauty it is showing yourself to be true and beautiful and have inner beauty your heart is beautiful your soul is beautiful and you are beautiful that is the holy trinity of love and it is beautiful it is our sun and our celestial body everybody wants a star but that's our star that's our sun yeah and love that's what the whole universe is built on. Love. And there's your inspiration. Your gift of inspiration. Yeah. Love and our light. Love and light. Love and light. And there's our world. Completes out the whole reading. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day. You are beautiful. Beautiful. There's justice coming for these people that want to hurt you. Okay. Any lovers, any people, any family members, anything. Just all I need you to do at the present moment is just be you. Protect your energy, whatever that means. Okay, because you do have options coming in and your growth is beautiful. Uh, there is somebody from the past maybe trying to come back around some sort of broken heart, but at the end of the day, you're, you're going to protect that energy. You're going to trust your intuition and trust your guidance, and you're going to go within and do the right thing and find thyself. Put your logic into the questions. Okay, and now, if, last thing I'm going to say, if you're waiting on justice to come around, that's divine timing, okay? And that can be the work of this one here, which is the devil. That's why you've got to release it, let go, and just walk on your journey. You've worked so hard into who you are. And why would you want to be weighed down by the by the burdens or the baggage of waiting for a devil to come around when that light will always lift you up? Have a lovely, beautiful day and God bless and take care. Much love.